What's up? We're back with another episode of 401 Uncut. Today, we got a very special guest that came all the way from the West Coast back to the city. BJ, Mr. Clean Zeus, what's up? What up with it? How you doing? I'm good, man. Just happy to be back in the city, you know what I mean? Like, we, yeah. we here. Like, I'm happy, boy. What's up, y'all? How long has it been since you've been back home? Shit. Um, probably since, like, 2018, 19, for real. Wow. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow, so you've um, been gone for a minute. Yeah, I pop in every now and again, but it ain't, like, to the city, like, to the, you know what I'm saying? I be out in the suburbs or whatever, do what I got to do, and then get out, you know what mm -hmm. I mean? Like, for sure. So, so, so we'll, we'll talk about why you moved to the West here in a second, <laughs> but uh, I know you're from, you from here. What yeah. part of Cincinnati are you from? Uh, I grew up in Bond Hill, but I got a lot of family out there in the uh, zone, so, like, you know what I'm saying? I used to go back and forth. Like, back and forth. So Lincoln Heights, Bond Hill, yeah. All right, so what was it like, uh, you growing up in between those two different parts of town? Because they different. Yeah, it's it's crazy as hell, bro, because, like, when I was growing up, like, we used to, the hoods used to beef, like, a lot. Like, I, I grew up doing them fun factory times and shit. Like, mm -hmm. we used to go to them team dances and shit. So, like, it was crazy, like, because I used to go to the dances and see niggas I know beefing with each other. Like, so, like, I mean, at the end of the day, that's why I always stay neutral and I really ain't get into nothing crazy. Like, I was always about the money type shit. So, yeah. like, that was it. Like, For sure. So, uh, when did you start doing music? Shit, for real, like, um, seriously, like, probably like 2015, 16, but like, growing up, I always had a knack for it. Like, I used to record with my uh, homies in his living room and shit. Like, wow. uh, yeah, he had a little engineer set up. Like, and basically, like, he was the one who was, like, <laughs> who was the one who told me to keep doing shit. Like, you feel what I'm saying? So, when I got a little bit older and I had the means to do it, I started doing it. You know what I mean? Man, talk about the means to do it because, you know, a lot of people, when they first start doing music, like you said, you're recording out of a friend's living yeah, room just to yeah. get your feet wet. You know, <laughs> yeah. the first time you get to crack the mic and, you know, stuff like that. But, hey, when you, when it come, when it's time to get professional, it really end up costing a lot yeah, more. Was yeah. it a lot more than you even ever expected? Like, damn, this is expensive. I mean, yeah, I definitely could say that because... Um, like you got to look at yourself as a brand as an investment and a lot of people don't understand that i feel like um and that's one of the biggest things that can move you forward or decline your progression in the music industry i feel like if you don't have people to invest in you or the means to invest in yourself but um i mean i think honestly i can't say it was a lot more than i expected i just think it's it's like it's what you put into it like what you want to do with those with, with the funds you know what i mean yeah. like how far you want to extend yourself. Just don't overexert yourself because then you'll find yourself back at square one. Like, so. Man, because it's definitely an investment. You can end up making a wrong investment exactly. at times exactly. and not knowing, you know, starting exactly. out not really knowing who to deal with in the industry because right. the crazy thing that a lot of people don't address is that, uh, and I, do you feel like a lot of artists are kind of uh, like prey um, to a lot of these different absolutely. Uh, absolutely. DJs or blogs or, you know, where people know, like, oh, they're willing to pay. Sometimes people don't really always live up to right. the... They don't have your best interest in mind, yeah. what you're saying. Like, and that's, what you, that's why I say you got to look at it from a business standpoint before you look at it from an artist standpoint a lot of times because you an investment. So if you make that wrong investment in yourself, then you the only one who's going to suffer for it. It's not like you got a conglomerate behind you at the beginner level. You don't like you got to mm -hmm. you got to put those funds in yourself and make wise decisions. So, yeah, I totally agree. Yeah. So uh, what's some of your music influences? What's some of the artists that you like, man, I want to, you know, I got, you know, even just growing up like, man, if I could rap like them. Or, yeah. I don't <laughs> want to date, date myself and shit. Like, uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, but nah, uh I like Jay-Z, like he one of my biggest influences, I feel like, because um, he got the ability to take a negative situation and make it into something positive or vice versa. Like he could take a positive and make it even better. Like, um, mm -hmm. and his story, like how he came from nothing and now he one of the, the most successful, I guess, rap artists in the world, like, so. Yeah. Um, him, Kanye, a lot of people might not like me saying that, but Kanye a genius, man, like he a genius. He, um, same thing, like, he he knew what he wanted he went after it and he took it like and he don't really he don't give a, a hell what people say you know what i mean like he don't he don't care he do what he want and that that's taking him to a level that a lot of people won't ever attain you know what i mean for sure so. now i know uh you know right before the pandemic you had just left yeah. um what made you want to move to colorado 
So, um, honestly, um, Cali was, um, I was getting a lot of trouble, man, <laughs> like making, um, unwise decisions like mm -hmm. that and, um, the traffic, <laughs> like it was, but, um, at the end of the day, um, I had, I, I had the ability to, to meet up, link up, network with a lot of, um, positive influences though when I was in California, uh, mm -hmm. for my music and for my, um, own growth, my self growth. So, yeah. um. But at the end of the day, it was it was starting to cost too much for lawyer fees and all of that. So it was time to go. Like, Man. better so, place. So, to so you was in Cali, really being bad. <laughs> per se, is what you're saying. Kind of. Um, but I um, we also got a little bit of property though. I um, out in Colorado, so um, that's what took me back. Like mm -hmm. so. Um, so things been a little more chill for you. Yeah, per absolutely. Se. <laughs> I, I can grow my weed, smoke my weed, and own my guns, and it's all legal. You know what I mean? So mm -hmm. like that's the biggest thing for me. Like staying out of trouble. Like and trying to, like I said, focus on my music. You know? Man, cause it seems I'm not gonna lie. It seems like with moving to Colorado, you've been you made sure you, you got a different piece about you because you are moving around a right. lot. You opening up for a lot of different artists. Right. Little right. Dirk, right. Twenty One Savage, moving right. around in, in right. Atlanta, um, working with different blogs and things like that. Is it because that piece you got <laughs> where you kind of able to focus? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I Honestly, yeah, like um, like you said, that self growth, getting out there to the quiet, you got a lot of time to think, um, and making moves is a big thing. Like you said, um, I got a cousin who down in Atlanta, she one of the biggest LGBT promoters out there. So um, shout out my cousin Boss Britt. Shout out to Boss Britt. Hey, from, yeah. Boss Britt. She's she from, from the city. city yeah. So yeah, from shout out to, shout yeah, to Britt. That's my cousin. What's up? Yeah, like um, just making smart moves, like linking up with the right producers, uh, messing with what um, 808, my boy Levels, like. Just a bunch of different things, like moving in a positive direction is giving me the, the ability to network and meet people that I, I, I wouldn't meet otherwise, you know what I mean? Yeah, for sure. And, and that's what it's about, moving around, networking. And Atlanta is one of those places that's like right now for, for, for hip hop, right. music, period, it's the place to be. Absolutely. You go there, you get so much networking done, you almost don't even want to leave it. For real, like, that's <laughs> what I was just talking about, thinking about like grabbing some property out there, but at the end of the day, um, I just, I just think I'm I'm grateful for uh being able to be able to move out there the way I am, like because a lot of people don't got the avenues to be able to go somewhere and then touch down and be able to be around certain people. Yeah. Like, so, um, I'm just I'm blessed. I'm grateful. Like at the end of the day. For sure, but I think the networking is paying off because I actually see it um, in your social media following your engagement. Right. Tell right. me, how did you? I mean, a lot of artists struggle. I right. I have artists that come to me all the time, and then I right. look at their social, and I'm like. What are you doing? Right. Instagram's not uh, doing pretty good. They barely got a thousand followers, right. you know, right. can barely get a hundred likes on a post. But you are very engaging right. on your social. You right. make sure you got you got a nice amount of followers on there. Uh, mm -hmm. The engagement levels through the roof. Was that moving around in those different markets? Is that what kind of helped you get that following yeah. up? Yeah, to be honest, um, and to be a lot of my homeboys say I'm a social butterfly. Like I'm like super goofy in person until like until I'm not like so like. I don't mind going up and talking to somebody and holding a conversation, and seeing where they come from, what they do. If it's gonna, especially if it's gonna benefit me in the long run, like because you never know who somebody is or who they know, like so. Mm -hmm. But it's also just getting out there, like you said, every city, every state I'm in, every country I'm in. I'm always asking, hey, what's up? You on Instagram? Like, follow me, <laughs> listening to my song. Like, mm -hmm. go to a club. See, I I shoot a DJ fifty dollars to spend my stuff in the club if Thanks. if I know uh, he gonna shout my Instagram out and. I think it's a good song, so mm -hmm. that's one thing with me. I ain't scared to pay to play. I guess like so. Mm -hmm. That's a big thing. Like, For sure, yeah. You gotta gotta uh, you know network with the DJs from right. these clubs. There's Absolutely. no point in being in the club if you ain't networking. Yeah, that's matter of fact. Shout out to Coalition DJs too. Like, yep, yeah, they everywhere, man. If you get a chance, you definitely need to try and tap in with some of them. Yeah. Because, Have you did New Music Mondays? Nah, I haven't. But like the Coalition DJs, they the ones who I like. I. I sought after a lot, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like because I know they, they network. Move. They network is vast. Yes. Like, they everywhere. Every major city, they there. Like, yes. So. I I love the event that they do on Atlanta New Music Monday. Yeah, I wanna get I on there one recommend, of these days. listen, yeah. I don't leave Atlanta. I'm the person that can't leave Atlanta until Tuesday. So if I <laughs> come to Atlanta on a Friday or Saturday, I'm not leaving out until Tuesday because right. I have to go to right. New Music Monday. It's right. so much networking at that event yeah um, i definitely next time i'm out there i want to go but every time i'm out there i gotta leave on a, on a sunday or I'm yeah. you gotta listen you have to make it oh, i'm definitely schedule. i'm gonna do Trust it me. i'm gonna do it i'm gonna <laughs> do it it's gonna be 
be so. I've been I saying mean, I would do it. Bro. It's I'm gonna, gonna be so it. worth it when you, cause it's right. really something that is like, wow, it's right. all networking, right. all DJs, radio, absolutely, blogs, like it's everything's there. Damn, well, yeah, yes. now you making me fly out, get a ticket to go to the A right now, like. Yes. Shit. So let's talk about this Houston, Atlanta, Vegas single. Uh, tell me what inspired this track. Man, honestly, um, I was listening to uh, some Drake one day, like, and I was like, bro, like. Them my three like favorite cities to be in, so why not make a song about it? Like, and there's already somebody out there who popping who got the song out there, so hopefully they will click on mine and take a listen if they're trying to listen <laughs> to his. Like, so yeah, that's that like. for sure. And I know so you put out a project that was called Gucci Mane La Flair. Yeah, it's the one that's coming up. Yeah, yeah so so yeah, tell yeah, me yeah. tell me what's up with this <laughs> title and why did you decide? Because when I seen it, I'm like, wait. Yeah, it's the, the actual project is going to be called Gucci Mane Le Flair. Le Flair. Yeah, because I'm a big Gucci fan, yeah, personally. That's the so point. that really, I'm like, oh, really? Well, yeah. I want to listen to this because I love Gucci. But tell me, is Gucci kind of like one of those influences for you? One of my you? one of my favorite rappers of all time. Like, yeah, Period. a lot of people, yeah, yeah. Like, so um, this one, like, I really don't make like trap music like that for real, for real, like. But this one, I kind of dug back to some of my, like, <laughs> love. Like, I just, I just basically wanted to try and bring awareness to me by using somebody who is a big influence on me in the music that I'm about to make right yeah. now. This, this is about to come out. Like, like paying some homage in a way. Kind of, yeah, yeah. And I got to work with some uh, decent producers on this one. Like, so I was cool. Okay, I was what's on the producers you got? Like, uh, I got this dude named YK, my boy Levels. Um, got another dude from 808 um, on there. Um, then I got DJ Scream hosting this one too, so um, oh. this one like is a little, it's a little big, bigger for me, so yeah. I'm, I'm a little happy about it. It's so. a different push that yeah, you yeah. don't have behind it, especially yeah. uh, Scream is yeah, yeah, super that, dope. Really. I was happy when he agreed to it, man. I can't even lie to you, but that was, I was like, damn, bro, that's what's up, like, cause I honestly didn't think he was gonna say yeah, like, so cause yeah. he a busy guy. He got a big podcast he's doing right yeah, now bro, with the big facts. Saying, and, so shout out yeah. to DJ Screen for agreeing to do that, man. That was a, another blessing. I appreciate that, man. Like, for yeah. sure. He's always been one of those DJs though that keep it uh, with the culture. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. And try to move it forward, no matter how big he gets. He always rock with the up and coming. Absolutely. I've Absolutely. always noticed that about Scream. It's something yeah. that I salute him for. Uh, so when can we expect this Gucci Mane LeClaire uh, project to drop? <laughs> September. Okay. September. I'm uh, in the final stages of everything, getting everything mastered up, um, making sure the stems and shit sound good. So um, September, hopefully right around my birthday. Like, that would be great. If I could drop that, that shit on my birthday, so, <laughs> hey, that will be lit. Gucci Mane yeah. Flair, September. Be looking out for that, please. Okay, then. So, I mean, you're you, you moving around from city to city right now. You right. literally got this new project that's about to drop, Gucci Mane Flair. What else can we expect from you, BJ, uh, before this, this year's over with? You know, right, right now, we the year half halfway over right so, right, right. so <laughs> what um, else can we expect from you because you've been doing a lot but yeah. i know you got something else up your yeah yeah, yeah. I, um i want um i'm gonna shout out the west coast on this one because i'm working on the project right now that we got uh dj charisma to uh put her uh input in on so shout out dj charisma uh mm -hmm. young california um but that's really it um we trying to lock in a tour right now with uh california live and and uh, um Damn, I shouldn't even say nothing about it, but fuck it. We trying to lock in a little tour right now with California Live in Denver and Colorado Springs. Okay. Uh, so appreciate them for helping me out with that. Um, but other than that, that's that's it, man. That's really it. Like, I'm just trying to keep my head to the ground and keep it pushing. So. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know what, BJ? We we tapped in now. Uh, you know, anybody that come and sit down on the couch, we gang. You know what I'm saying? That's what I say. We <laughs> gang. It, and I know you've been tapped in with 411 one Uncutting. You said even getting the people uh, in Colorado yeah, hip yeah, to the yeah, brand and stuff yeah. like that. So yeah, I appreciate yeah. it. So yeah. from now on, everything you got going, we're going to be paying attention. We appreciate watching. It. We make sure we comment, hey, share, hey. and, uh, you know, everything that you got going as well. So we gang now. We super locked hey, in. I appreciate you, man. Thank you again. 411, 411 Uncut. Let's do this. Hey. Thank you.